A final farewell for fallen Comstock Township Fire Chief Edward Switalski. A moving and emotional service as hundreds of people from near and far came to pay their respects. The chief was laid to rest with full honors. 24 Hour News 8's Brady Gillum starts our live team coverage by taking us inside that somber ceremony. Brady. Well, it's been a week now since Chief Switowski was killed on that stretch along I-94. Today, people came to pay their respects and say their final goodbyes. I'm standing here with my heart shattered into a million pieces. I don't think I'm ever going to be the same after this. It's a wound that will take time and love to heal. Last week, Chief Switowski was killed when a car lost control and hit him on I-94. Highway calls are a common occurrence but none of the first responders like them, especially on this particularly dangerous stretch of the highway. Hovenkamp told the story about how he was called to the scene of the crash because a firefighter was down. That's when he learned it was Chief Switowski. He went to where the crash happened and met the firefighters who lost their leader. And looked upon his crew as they sat in a circle around him not willing to leave their chief. The chaplain prayed over the chief before first responders took him away. We lost a great man here on earth that day, but we gained one in heaven. One of Switowski's daughters, Emily, spoke about her dad, who she knew as Ed or Chief. Although we did not play sports, he still instilled the love of the Cubs in us, and I am happy to say he was finally able to see them win the World Series, and I got to experience the excitement of that with him by going to the victory parade. Everyone who speaks of Chief Switowski, whether family or friend, has a common theme, a giving heart. And he constantly cared about others. He was there every step of the way when my Auntie Holly had breast cancer. He was there and donated his kidney when his nephew Christopher needed one. Chief remembered not only for his work, but the life he led. Now, it's hard to believe it's been a week since Chief Switowski was killed in that accident. Firefighters have had a week to process it, and I'm told they'll have a, a long time to grieve that loss. Reporting live in Kalamazoo, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.